Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Super here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play Roblox on mobile. The mobile controls for Roblox, which is for anyone that's new to Roblox or new to the Roblox mobile app. It's actually pretty easy to learn these controls. So let's go ahead and get straight into them. Now, the first thing they'll learn is how to move the camera, which is going to show where your character is, like the position of the camera. So on the right side of the screen, you want to move your finger across and it's going to move the camera around. So it's actually pretty simple to move the camera it's pretty nice and that way you can position the camera to wherever you want it when moving the character or just playing the game so now i'm going to show you how to move your character on roblox which is pretty simple to do so in the lower left area of the screen you want to go ahead and move your finger around and as you can see here wherever your finger goes to the character will follow that direction so if you go up your character is going to move up if you want to go down or go the other way you're going to move your finger down the screen and it'll go that way and you can spin around even if you want to, if you want to go in a circle with it. But the go right, you just move the finger to the right. If you want to go left, move the finger to the left of the screen and your character will go that way, which is pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to zoom in and zoom out with the camera, which is pretty simple to do. So you zoom in enough and you can go into first person with your character which could be useful in some kind of games, but it's kind of hard to use first person on mobile, but you can do whatever you want. And anyways, to zoom in and out, it's gonna be hard for me to explain this, but basically you wanna put your fingers together and you wanna like scroll in kinda, if you know what I mean. Like if you're trying to zoom in, if you get the idea, like normally if you've been on other stuff on your phone and all that, you would understand what I mean by zooming in. You can just move your fingers together, like your thumb and your finger, and you can just zoom in and out. And uh, it's pretty simple to do, and I'm gonna put some pictures so you guys understand what I'm talking about. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to jump. On the right bottom side, you're gonna see an arrow button. You wanna go ahead and press that. That is the jump button, and it's pretty easy to use. You can just jump doing that. All you gotta do is press that button, which will always be on the right bottom side. And uh, yeah, pretty easy to do. And I'm just gonna show you, you can jump onto objects and stuff, and especially on this map. This is a Happy Home map. It's a classic Roblox map, actually. As you can see, I'm gonna jump on the trees using the jump button. So yeah, that's pretty useful and you can use that while moving and all that. So it's pretty useful. And then to enable tools, you can just touch tools, which will normally be on the center bottom area of the screen. As you can see, I have building tools. I don't know how, I don't know how to actually use these building tools, but I wanted to show you that you can enable them. All you gotta do is press on them and there'll be like a blue selection. And then to unselect it, you can just press it again. So pretty simple to do that stuff. Now I'm gonna show you the chat, which is gonna be in the top left area of the screen. And you can see here, you can just press the chat icon. It'll let you chat with other people in the game. And then to check the Roblox icon, it'll take you to the menu, which you can leave the game, reset your character or resume. And you can just press the resume button, which will take you back to the game and exit the menu. And then reset your character, it's gonna be the reset character button and then reset and that'll kill your character and have you respawn but you know simple stuff like that which is pretty useful and so let's go ahead and check the menu again and you can see there's a settings which you can change stuff in there like the camera the graphics language and whatever you want to do with the settings there it's up to you really and uh but there's many settings to pick from like volume and all that as well and you can report people in the game if they're breaking the rules on roblox and you can see this is what i mean by some of the controls you can see the help in the roblox game menu if you want to get help that way and that way it's a reminder to know how to play roblox on mobile which is pretty useful and then on the three dots on the top right side you can see the leaderboard and then you can see emotes which only work if you're in r15 i'm unfortunately in r6 i always forget that i put myself in r6 so i can't do that and then you can see inventory which is super useful because you can only have three items uh that you can choose at a time so your toolbox is different than it is on the pc on roblox mobile games you can only see three items that you have if you have more items you can check the inventory but yeah pretty simple stuff like that and i think that's pretty much it for the controls on mobile I uh, hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. Uh, but if you did, make sure to go to Instagram the channel and smash the like button. If you have any questions, comment them below and I'll try to get back to you guys. And until next time, goodbye.